Hey, Saints Across Lutheran Church, it's good to be with you through this mode of communication, otherwise known as a video on computer, or I don't know. But anyway, I'm doing this as a first in a series of video presentations. I won't be the only speaker, but the Stewardship Committee has this really, really cool idea of having folks from the congregation over the next 12 months speak about stewardship to you folks. But I'm going to talk about something that's related to stewardship and not really my own views of stewardship. I want to talk about mission support. Mission support used to be known as benevolence. Benevolence is no longer a word used by the Synod or the ELCA. And so I guess as a congregation in those um, domains, we have to stop using the word benevolence. Mission support really is more self-explanatory anyway. We all know what mission is. We all know what support is. Benevolence was sort of like this, you know, nebulous term out there. We just really didn't know what was going on. But I can tell you this. Mission support really is doing um, ministry with a whole bunch of other congregations and church bodies um, and to be able to accomplish things that we could not do on our own. It's kind of like that old story of Stone Soup where everyone had something to contribute and they made something great. Well, you know, a lot of times congregations can participate in really, really large, large ministries with what they can give, and we can be part of something that we could not do on our own. So mission support works like this. We dedicate a certain amount of our income to the synod in Shatek. And in our synod, we have 200 congregations, and they will take the funds received, the gifts received, the offering received, and manage not only their staff and salaries, but also set up synod-wide ministries like the Synod Assembly, walking together, other various aspects for us to learn from one another and to serve with one another. The Synod then also sends some of their income on to the larger church, the ELCA, and the ELCA then will also you know, give money towards seminaries, um, church partners. Oh, I forgot to mention in our synod, we have the church partnership with Malawi. A lot of our money goes to Malawi, which is incredible. I've been there many, many times. It's the warm heart of Africa, the friendliest, most warm, God-loving people you can ever imagine. I feel really, really good about that. But the reality is that whenever we're giving something to mission support, it's not really going to anything unknown or secretive. It's really, really going towards ministries. It's going towards what Matthew 25 says, is feeding the hungry, visiting the sick, clothing the naked. You know, it's helping brothers and sisters in Christ all over the world. And it's also going beyond the Christian body because we also use this money to evangelize and proclaim the good news in areas where Christianity is the minority. It's all really, really good. With our mission support dollars, we literally save lives by feeding the hungry. We literally change lives by introducing folks to Jesus Christ. And also then, we also provide for the livelihood of folks in ministry because there are certain expressions of the church, certain calls into ministry, like being in foreign missions, being in development congregations and whatnot, where the salary also of these ministers and missionaries comes from our mission support. And so, again, when we talk about mission support, which used to be known as benevolence, we're simply doing more ministry. We're giving to something larger than ourselves, and we're recognizing that we belong to something larger than ourselves. In our synod, we're one of 200 congregations. I don't know how many congregations there are in our denomination. I used to know that, but we're over 4 million people. And then we're also part of the World Council of Churches and the World Federation of Lutherans, the Lutheran World Federation. We belong to a global or worldwide church. And so again, when we give to mission support, 